Slovenia, a small but topographically the most diverse country in Europe, that masters up all the major geographical landscapes ranging from mountains, plains and coasts alike. Ljubljana, one of the smallest capital in Europe, is a true jewel at the heart of the country. The city is famous about its walking possibilities and environmental friendly face since it's scattered with many green parks. It is highly recommended to visit the Ljubljana castle at the middle of Old Town that provides the feeling of protecting the city as a mighty guardian. Slovenia makes all your imagination come true when you wander through green forests, charming towns, snow-covered fabulous hills and last but not least the wonderful underground Karts region. Small but not less important from the point of view of holiday making, you need to take into consideration the Slovenian beaches, not to mention the 24 different gastronomical regions. This diversity derives from the influences that are linked to the diversities of Slovenia's geography, climate and history. Well, let's go to taste Slovenian dishes and follow the path of a motto, love goes through the stomach. Hello everyone, I'm Vicky and this is the Mind Fitness YouTube channel. Today I would like to introduce the Preshganka soup, which is really typical in Trieste countryside, but known by every Slovenians. Did you know that Slovenians make it across the whole country as a dietary supplement for digestive disorders? Today we are going to make this specialty. Firstly, let us take a look at the ingredients. We need some cumin, uh, parsley, flour, some kind of fat, you can use butter, vegetable oil or pork fat and uh, some water as well and bay leaves and salt and pepper to taste and one of the most important ingredients is the eggs. First I'm gonna heat some oil in a pot. Then we sprinkle one tablespoon flour on the oil and stir it until it gets golden brown on a really low heat. Okay, now pour the cold water very slowly. And it's important to pay attention for the permanent steer to avoid any lumps of the floor. Then we need to bring this to boil. So I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit. And while it gets ready, I'm gonna whisk the eggs. After 15 minutes, turn the heat down and pour the eggs into the pot. And while pouring the eggs into the pot, constantly mix it. And now it needs another 5 minutes. The only thing left is the seasoning.
now for the last time boil it again our soup is ready so I'm just gonna serve it Our soup is ready. I can tell you it smells pretty fine. Enjoy. And thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any requirements, what to cook or bake in the next time, please uh, let us know in the comment section. See you guys next time. Bye.